So this morning we got our team here. We had uh, some of the employees come out, take a look at the truck. Let's go for a ride. Start her up. Start her up. Got some excitement from the teams that haven't seen it yet. That is so cool. A lot of people didn't believe we could do it, so that's neat. If we have high voltage up from Tyler, we'll have brakes and steering. That's our biggest things right now. Yeah, we don't have high we voltage. We don't have high voltage. The steering pump is a low, low voltage, voltage, but if you want brakes, it's going to be high voltage. Nothing else. We can at least get it off the trailer. And then until we have high voltage, we'll do the rest of it later on. But at least we'll get these guys on the road here. Okay. Sounds good. We have radios. Radios are charged up, ready for the day. Cool. Let's get to work, guys. Thank you. Will you get my laptop and the multimeter? 11 ohms. Okay. Is it the same assignments, too? Correct, yeah. We got the vehicle here about three days ago from Germany, just doing some safety checks on the vehicle and making sure the first torque that we apply to the motors are, are safe off the ground and the vehicle does what, what it did back in Ulm. And we're going to start doing a little bit of low torque and low speed calibration and, and safety testing on the vehicle pretty soon. The vehicle is on target. It can be more excited than this. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, stop, stop. What happened? I break. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do that a couple of times. Make sure you're comfortable with it. It doesn't do anything crazy yet. Inverter yeah, inverter's faulted. Don't overrate, don't overrate. Let them go to shutdown. Well, when you went to accessory, it faulted out because of the inverter state. Yeah. Just working through a few minor issues here. But all things considered, being the first first truck, uh, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. So yeah. We should have this thing up and going here in a little bit. A year and two months after we partnered up with Iveco. It's amazing. Now we're just making sure that the vehicle got here with no problem, nothing got damaged during shipping, you know, across uh, cross continental travel for this vehicle. It was like, right, we're going to power up. Okay. We're in standby, right? No. It's accessory. You're still overriding the TGC, right? Good. On to the air. Go. Really good. Look at that. So this is our first trip right now with this truck moving on its own power. So, so far so good. It's working well. <laughs> that we haven't seen this truck and it was on the ocean to get here so we, we find the software what we saw the problems were and now you know you get goosebumps when you look at your your baby driving on the track like this all right let's do it I 
in the belly, man. This is good stuff right here. <laughs> this truck here has been a huge dream for a lot of guys here, night and day, endless hours, endless sweat equity in this thing. So this is huge for us right now. No faults, nothing shut down. We went up to 35 kph, about 400 newton meters on each motor. So it, it was pretty exciting. Just the first of many. This is what's so exciting. There's so many more to come. Thank you.